The state of Colorado is often incorrectly attributed to have the highest peak in the lower 48 states as it contains the 14,440-foot-tall Mount Elbert. In reality, there is another peak in California which stands a bit taller, Mount Whitney at 14,494 feet. However, in the recent geologic history of the United States, California didn't always have the tallest peak. At one point a mere 400,000 years ago, this title belonged to a peak within the state of Arizona. There, a 16,000 foot or 4,877 meter tall volcano was near continuously erupting, producing numerous explosive eruptions near the modern town of Flagstaff. The volcano in question was known as San Francisco Mountain, which had snow on its summit year-round despite the arid climate of Arizona. With this being said, this peak is clearly no longer visible today. So, what happened to this volcano? Are there any remnants of this seemingly massive mountain? The remnants of the once vast San Francisco Mountain volcano can be found 9.3 miles or 15 kilometers north of the town of Flagstaff in north central Arizona. Today, the remnants of this once massive volcano contain several secondary peaks, the tallest of which is Humphreys Peak, which happens to be the tallest point in Arizona. Yet, at 12,637 feet tall, this does not compare to the prior height of this volcano. Looking at San Francisco Mountain to the side, it becomes very clear why it no longer stands at such an impressive height. Note the horseshoe-shaped scar which is open to the northeast. This scar is very similar to the one produced by the 1980 explosive eruption of Mount St. Helens. Thus, San Francisco Mountain was destroyed by an ancient catastrophic landslide potentially associated with a large volcanic eruption. The landslide caused a majority of the volcano to slump to the east, with pieces of debris traveling beyond 20 miles distant in some locations. This landslide occurred sometime between 400,000 and 92,000 years ago as the younger figure represents the age of Sugarloaf Peak, a rhyolite lava dome which formed on top of the landslide deposits. For some context, San Francisco Mountain was the tallest vent of the San Francisco Volcanic Field. This volcanic field covers an area of 1,800 square miles and stretches from just west of the town of Williams to 30 miles east of downtown Flagstaff. It is an especially unique volcanic complex as it owes its existence to a low-intensity hotspot in the mantle, much like the Hawaiian volcanic chain. How do we know this? The reasoning is that over time, there has been a prominent eastward trend over the course of the field's eruptive history as the overlying North American plate has slid in a westward direction, while the hotspot remains stationary. This volcanic field is largely monogenetic, as the vast majority of its several hundred vents such as SP Crater only erupted once. However, throughout the long history of this volcanic field, occasionally magma found a large uniform path to the surface. This created a series of lava dome complexes similar to Lassen Peak in California, where dozens of explosive eruptions occurred from the same vent. Bill Williams Mountain is one example of these complexes, where its large and rounded lava domes are still visible today. Around one million years ago, this magma found a new uniform path and began constructing a single volcanic cone. As frequent eruptions continued over the span of tens of thousands of years, the volcano grew taller and taller. These eruptions added numerous overlapping layers of lava and ash, which caused the volcano to have a primarily gray color. The volcano continued to frequently erupt over a period of 400,000 years, by which it was 14,272 feet tall. Then, activity shifted towards the north, causing a second taller volcanic cone to be constructed. By 400,000 years ago, this cone was between 14,633 feet and 16,500 feet in height, depending on the cited scientific paper. San Francisco Mountain by this time was snow-covered year-round, which eventually built into a truly massive glacier similar to those seen on Glacier Peak in Washington State. The eventual collapse of its edifice most likely occurred due to the presence of the taller volcanic cone adding structural instability to its eastern slopes. Eventually, fumaroles and hydrothermal alteration caused the weak slope of the volcano to turn bright shades of yellow and red. A critical point was then reached at which the volcano catastrophically collapsed to the side. This collapse may have occurred long after San Francisco Mountain stopped erupting, or could have been associated with a large explosive eruption, although the former possibility appears to be most likely. Today, San Francisco Peak is long extinct, but a possibility remains that the larger volcanic field could one day create another towering stratovolcano. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.